Hello and welcome to this tutorial. We're going to talk about the different types of IP version 6 addresses that you're going to come across. Now we did the same thing when we talked about IP version 4 as well. You might remember we talked about the unicast address and the broadcast. Well this time we're going to do the same thing but with a focus on version 6 and you'll see that some of this material is very similar to what we covered in version 4 and yet some of it is actually pretty new. So we're going to cover three types. The first one is the unicast address, the second one is the multicast, and the third one is called the anycast. First up is the unicast address. And you'll remember that a unicast address is one that is assigned to a single interface only. Now with IP version 6 there are three classes of unicast addresses that we need to know about. The first one is called the global unicast. And this one's pretty simple. This is just the equivalent to the IP version 4 public addresses that we already know about. So in version 6, the global unicast is a globally routable public IP address, and a device that uses one can route to and from anything else on the internet. Now you can easily identify a global unicast because they all come from the same prefix. And what this means is the first three bits, 001, are going to be the same for all global unicast IP addresses. Okay, so that's the first one, global unicast. Now the next type of unicast is the exact opposite of the global unicast, and it's called the link local. Now these are non-routed IPs, and they're used to send packets to other devices on the same link only. Okay, so here in this diagram, the router would have a link local IP address, and so would this PC. And they would use those to send information to and from each other only. The router would never forward packets with a link local address in the IP header. Okay, so these are only used for communications for devices on the same link. Now they're assigned to a single interface, and you can easily identify these because they all come from the same range, FE80, and that's a slash 10. So whenever you see an IP address that begins FE80, you immediately know that that is a link local IP address. Now in version 4, the equivalent would be the 169.254 slash 16 network. That's the link local equivalent in IP version 4. And you've probably seen a computer use that address when it doesn't have any connectivity. It'll self-assign that IP address. It's a very similar concept here to the link local in IP version 6. Okay, so that's the second type. And the last type also have an, has an equivalent in IP version 4. And this is known as the unique local address. So these all come from the same range, FD00, it's a slash 8. So whenever you see an IP address beginning with FD00, you know that that is a unique local address. And these are the same as the IP version 4 private addresses. So these are not routable over the internet. They're purely meant to be used on a private network segment. Okay, so that is the third type. And these are the three unicast addresses that you should be able to identify, at the very least, when you see the prefix that they come from. Okay? Okay, up next is multicast. Now, multicast behaves the same way in IP version 6 as it does in version 4. You can easily identify an IP version 6 multicast address because they all come from the same range, this slash 8. So quite simply, if you ever see an IP version 6 address and it begins with FF, you should immediately know that that is a multicast address. And so just like version 4, the multicast represents a group of devices or a group of interfaces located on different devices. So if you want to reach all the members of that group, you just send a packet to the IP multicast address and they'll all receive it. And just like in version 4, devices can join a group or they can leave a group whenever they want. Now one of the multicast addresses in version 6 that you're going to see a lot of is this one. This represents all the nodes on a particular network segment. So this is very similar to the IP version 4 broadcast where you wanted to reach everybody on a particular LAN segment. Well because version 6 doesn't support broadcast, it accomplishes the same thing by using a multicast group. Okay, so that's the first one you'll see a lot of and it makes sense because there are times when you do want to contact everybody on a network segment. 
The next one is this one. This represents all routers on a network segment. So if a device wants to contact all of the routers on a particular network segment, it would just source a packet and send it to this multicast address group. Okay, so that's multicast. The last type of address is known as the Anycast address. And with an Anycast address, we have one address which represents many different interfaces on different devices. So this is very similar to multicast. One address, many devices. However, there's a key difference between Anycast and multicast, and it's this. When you source a packet to an Anycast address, it's only going to be delivered to one of the hosts in that Anycast group. Whereas with multicast, as we just learned, it's sent to everyone in the group. Okay, so for instance, if this is the internet, and I'm over here, and I'm trying to get to a website, and these three web servers are part of that Anycast group, I source a packet to the Anycast IP address, and I will be routed to the nearest instance of that IP address. Okay, so the point here is to send somebody's traffic to the nearest routing instance, the most efficient way to get to the closest device to you. Okay, whereas multicast would be sent to everybody. All right, so that's Anycast. Okay, so let's summarize what we covered. IP version 6 uses Unicast, and there are three classes. The global Unicast, which are the publicly routable IPs. The link local Unicast, which are only used between devices on the same network segment. And then the unique local Unicast, and those are the private IPs for IP version 6. We've listed the prefixes, the ranges that these three groups come from, and you should get familiar with these. Be able to identify a particular type of Unicast just by looking at the prefix. Now after unicast, we talked about multicast, and multicast in version 6 behaves the same way as version 4. You send a packet to that IP address and it goes to all of the members. You can identify multicast addresses because they begin with FF and they come from this slash 8 prefix. And then finally we talked about anycast, where you can have a group of devices represented by one IP address, but when you send a packet to that anycast IP address, it will only be, be delivered to one member of that group, and that's usually the uh, closest member to you, the most efficient routing instance of that IP unicast address. Okay, so that's it. Those are the different types of IP version 6 addresses. Thanks for watching.